Hello there, welcome to another video. No bike in this one, but I am out and about and I am doing bike stuff. So I have with me a toolbox full of stuff and some traffic cones. So let's roll titles, see what this is all about. This year I'm participating in the Dublin Canvas Public Art Project which is run by Dublin City Council to brighten up these telephone exchange boxes. So a box in Blanchestown became available this year and I decided to honour the achievements of former Irish pro cyclist Martin Early. This design shows Martin winning stage 14 of the 1986 Giro d'Italia but Martin was also a national champ and had won stages of the Tour de France. So I surveyed the box and from that I made a scale drawing and I printed the scale drawing off on several sheets of A3 paper. I'll use these to transfer the design onto the box. Safety first, the cones go out. And of course that so-called safety panacea a high-vis jacket. So first up I was going to apply the text. There was no way I was doing this text by hand so I ran the text off using a vinyl cutter and I was going to use the vinyl as a stencil and paint over it. Undercoat or white goes on first. the sheet and then burnish it down. Once I've got it burnished down I'm going to start to remove off these strips of masking tape. Uh, this allows me to apply the whole stencil and then peel off the bits I don't want. I have to be careful there that it's not going to lift the actual text. Right, masking tape off. Next step is to remove the counters. For those who don't know, the counters are what you would call the holes inside a letter. Removing the counters gives me an idea where the letters are, so when I'm removing the tape from around it, I can leave the actual text there. This worked out well, so I'm just rubbing down the text to make sure to get a good seal before I apply an undercoat of the red. This worked out well. Next on to transfer the design onto the box. Those A3 sheets of paper I had earlier, I'm now coating the back on the chalk and I'm going to take them onto the box and trace over it and the chalk will transfer the design onto the white of the box. Every time I do a panel, I go back over by hand to make sure I've got a good coverage on the line so I can see where I'm going to apply my colour when I'm doing the portraits of Martin Early. My pencil outline is now applied to all four sides of the box and I'm quite happy how it turned out so the next stage is to do the background colour of red. And the reason why I'm doing the background colour now is because it highlights where the figure is. And now I can apply a light colour to indicate where the rest of the figure will be, such as the jersey and the arms and the head and so on. Now it's time to remove the vinyl. Uh, the white came out very well. There's some pieces I need to touch up, so I just went over that again with the white paint to make the text really clear. Now the first coat of red goes on the jersey. And now the darker red goes on. Now I'm adding tone on the white of the jersey. And 
some highlights on the dark sleeves. With the mid-tones added on the jersey, I'm now going for some of the darker tones to create more of the folds within the fabric. Nearly done, I'm adding some highlights and lowlights to the figure. And we're done. I think it looks quite impactful with the three quarter view there. Martin looks quite strong and imposing. And there he is on the other side towards traffic. I'm very happy how this turned out. It seems to have brightened up the community. Lots of people come up to me saying very positive things about it. I hope you enjoy it too.